Question 7 from paper 2 of the 2018 Higher Maths. Again, another 9 mark question here. There we go. There's your cubic expression and the usual show that this is a factor, factorise it fully and then do something else with it. Well, the first part is show that x minus 2 is a factor for 2 marks. Well, the simplest way is to go through your synthetic division. Put down those coefficients and they're all there. And if x minus 2 is a factor, that means 2 is a 0 of that expression. Feed it through. Drops down to 2, that comes up to 4. Add it down 1. Multiply up 2. Add it down negative 1. Multiply up negative 2. So there's the answer, 0. But don't just leave it like that. Don't just box off that 0 and then say, there you go. Because you only get one mark out of the 2. You have to say you know what that means. If you're treating that as a synthetic division, that means that the remainder equals zero, which means that x minus two is a factor. Now the second part, hence factorize it fully. I think I'll put it all down again, just for completeness. So there's the expression, and that's got this as one factor, so there must be a quadratic factor here, and it's given by this portion of the synthetic division table. The 2 is the x squared, the 1 is the coefficient of x, and the negative 1 is the constant at the end. And presuming that it factorises fully, 2x squared can only come from 2x times x, 1 can only come from 1 times 1. If the middle term's positive, it must be the larger one that's positive, and then that's negative. And it's not equal to 0, so you don't put x equals or anything at this stage. But if you did, they wouldn't penalise that, I don't think. It just stops at that. Now part B, it switches tack to this reconciliation. It says the fifth term of this sequence is 2a minus 3. The sequence is given by this reconciliation, and you don't know that coefficient there, the multiplying number. You have to show if that's the fifth term, then the seventh term would be given by this expression. And it'll be an expression because you don't know what a is. Well, that just means you have to work your way up to it. Because the reconciliation just tells you to work out the following one. So if I know u5, I can work out u6. It'll just be follow that pattern. It'll be a times u5, the one before it, which is 2a minus 3, whoops, minus 1. Better multiply that out. Notice if you left it like that and then multiplied it again to get u7, you're creating a nested table. Anyway, 2a squared minus 3a minus 1. Now go up to u7. So u7 will be a times the previous one, which is this whole thing here but minus another 1. So finally you've got 2a cubed minus 3a squared minus a minus 1 as required. Then for part C. For the sequence, it's known that u7 is equal to u5. So even if you didn't do that part, you can do this part. Well, that just means I make that equal to that. 2a cubed minus 3a squared minus a minus 1 equals 2a minus 3. Right, OK. Determine the value of a. Given this information, u7 is equal to u5. Done it. A limit exists. That means that's a proper fraction. Well, it will be no surprise when you take everything over. That becomes minus 3a and that becomes plus 2 that you end up with this expression here again. Because in order to solve that, you'd have to go through the whole palaver of synthetic division again. But no need to, because it's identical to this. So you know the factorization of this. It's going to be the same as this, only with a's. a minus 2, 2a minus 1, a plus 1, which means you get the answers a is 2, a is a half, a is negative 1, now, if a limit exists, it means it has to be a proper fraction, so they're out, which means a equals a half, as a has to be, or the absolute value of a has to be less than 1. And for the last part, calculate this limit then, since a limit exists. Well, what was that reconciliation again? 
Now they know that A must be a half, it's a half of UN minus 1, so just go in with your formula. It's negative 1, B over 1 minus A, over 1 minus a half. So that's negative 1 divided by a half, so that makes that negative 2.